Last time we had to step up against Bayern Munich in the cup and we smacked them 4-0 across the head. And then it was Ancelotti with Real Madrid signing Schlotterbeck for 100 million. Who would replace him was the question and Laporte was the answer. A player that wasn't on the cards for many, but for me. And Simeone was being disrespectful during the press conference before our knockout stage game against Atletico Madrid. So I had to teach him a lesson. 4-3 victory away from home, shook his hands, but still hate him. So now what's the situation around the club, you might ask? First of all, we are at the top of the league with a four-point gap ahead of Leverkusen. And before the second leg against Atleti, we have a game against Hoffenheim, a match against Union Berlin and Werder Bremen. Why is that important, you might ask? Openda is currently on 18 goals in the Bundesliga and Girassi is on 10, with a lot less matches played. In today's Zephy, the first three games, I will step into myself and we need to crush it with Girassi. He needs to catch up. Now, as always, you guys have voted for the player of the episode. And as you can tell, it is Wharton at the point of recording. And for that reason, he now receives the incisive pass plus. He already had the regular play style, but for this episode, we're upgrading it to the plus because I want to see Wharton get even more assists, even crazier ones if possible. So now the next game comes around. We're up against Hoffenheim. The boys are at home. Let's win this. We had to make some changes though. Nemecha, Pascal Gross and also Anton had to step up due to fatigue to other players. This is good football. Really, really good football. It begins with Hoffenheim scoring. We're 1-0 down at home. Callum Wilson playing for Hoffenheim. Okay. Oh, I'm all over the place. Anton, exceptional tackle. Off we go. Nemecha. Wanting Girassi to make a run. Girassi now. Come on, buddy. Let's make it 1-1. And we will. 11 goals for Girassi. 7 to go to catch up to Openda. Good turn. Mecha, someone that hasn't really received too many chances in this team. Oh, what a ball by Gross. On the far side, it's Daniel Marlin. Wow, what a save. 90 plus 1. Come on, move it, move it, move it, move it. No, ref, I was about to play the pass. Girassi was running. Oh, no. It's only a 1-1 draw. That now puts on more pressure on us as Leverkusen catches up to a two-point gap. Before we go ahead, though, it's time for a press conference. What do you think is your team's biggest weakness at the moment, and how are you tackling it? I would say right now, it's the incapability of keeping a clean sheet. I mean, I've been known even through the Youth Academy times to be a coach that likes to attack and win games that way. But defensively, on this level, we need to be stronger, and I need to do something about tactically. And in the next game, I will try something new, so... Let's give it a shot. There's been reports of some discontent with the higher-ups in the boardroom with a signing like Laporte potentially steering Dortmund away from their traditional position of signing younger players and developing them. What do you have to say about this? Look, it's not just some of the members of the board, it's also the fans. I totally understand that the club would like to have the best young up-and-coming players coming through Dortmund all the time. But we can do that in certain positions. We don't have to do that all throughout the squad. We need experience in this team. We need leaders in this team. And someone like Laporte provides exactly that. So for me, it was the right choice to make in the transfer market as we have enough young players spread throughout the team already. So as I said in the press conference, it's time for a change. We need to do something about the team. I feel like we need to push our defenders closer. So we're going to go team width 35 and we're going to drop down the depth to 40. I will remain on pressure on heavy touch because I don't like constant pressure or anything like that that forces my players out of position. But heavy touches are being taken quite often and I want to capitalize on that. Now, going into the build-up play, I don't want to necessarily change anything there, except I want one more player at least in the box if we can get there. Direct passing has been extremely successful for us, so offensively everything's good. Defensively, we're dropping a little bit deeper. We're condensing that defense into more of the center of the pitch. Hopefully, this way we can avoid conceding goals. Going into this game against Union Berlin now, obviously all eyes are on Girassi, but Laporte is a bit tired, so Anton gets another chance of starting. Also, one more thing I actually needed to do, which I forgot earlier on, is I want Emre Can to stay back while attacking. I want that to be a thing. One of these two has to do that, and Emre staying back is the best choice. 
Adam Wharton, amazing passing to Daniel Marlin, who is now through. He sees Girassi in a better space, and that man hits the post. What's going on with this stadium? Union Berlin Stadium still glitched, and we're so close to FC25. That was an issue when the game launched. Wharton pushing forward, sending Girassi now. Oh, that's a good one, and I should have scored from it. Sending Girassi. What a turn from our striker. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, Girassi. I didn't know you had that in your locker. <laughs> what a goal. He ruined that man with the move. He was laying on the floor crying. Just look at that. <laughs> a skill move and a tackle and gets past him again. Making five changes, 64 minutes in. Ah, great job. Girassi, pass, Nemecha, Nemecha. Seeing the run of Girassi, but then on the other side, there is Bino Gittens to finish this off, and he won't. It was enough, however. 1-0 victory against Union Berlin away from home. And would you look at that, at the top of the league table, Dortmund, with now Bayern Munich chasing us. The true battle for the title begins now. And call it perfect timing, but we're up against one of the weakest sides in the league in Werder Bremen, and Ben Sebaini gets a start against them. Nice one, Brandt, instantly. Moving ahead. Oh, what a ball. Come on, Girassi. I need more goals than just one in each game. Maybe you're going to just assist this time, huh? <laughs> we'll take it. Why did that just go straight to the replay? Girassi, perfect cross to Adeyemi. 1-0. We're making it look easy already. Ah, oh, dude, Ba is such a great signing. I'm telling you guys right now, I have been amazed by Ba's abilities so far. And the same goes for this man right here. Dude, they cannot stop him. They cannot stop him. It's impossible. Girassi is coming for the throne. Up in the and Harry Kane. Be careful. Emery Laporte. Solid. We move. Adeyemi. There we go, dude. This is just perfect timing, isn't it? Right when we need it. He is gonna... What? Now we're kind of left in the open here. I don't like this. Ma. Chasing down. Oh, that's a beauty of a cross. But an even better save. Kobu is doing really well. A lot of you guys have been saying that he isn't doing well, but he's making good saves. Trust me. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. Ben Sibaini nearly had it. Ah, I wanted that clean sheet badly, man. But at the end of the day, it is going to be a 2-1 victory against Werder Bremen, no matter what happens here. Now in the Bundesliga, as you can tell, Girassi is up to the fifth position. Harry Kane at the top with 19, a six goal gap right there. In the Champions League, it's a different story. It's Girassi up against Giroud at the top, but Griezmann has the same amount of goals. We're just stepping onto the pitch against them now. Simeone, let's see what you got. And there is that man who wants to keep his team going. But let me tell you one thing. Our defense has changed. Ben Sebaini now has actually become a starter. He has performed exceptionally well on the left-hand side. Riasson now on the bench. Wharton giving a bit too much space. Oh, only thing we're missing is him scoring a banger against that man. Antoine <laughs> against Ben Sebaini gets past me with ease. But Laporte and the lads can't stop it. Luckily, Kobel does. I told you, he's performing well. Wharton. Oh, oh, what a pass. <laughs> that pinked pass trait is ridiculous. Oh my God, bro. Take a look at it again. I'll take myself out of it. Look at this pass, man. I I didn't see that. I didn't see that at all. I was aiming for Brandt. Well, Griezmann gets the opportunity to respond, and I don't like it. He has Memphis Depay standing over it as well. Antoine Griezmann. Zule, baby. Let's go. Ooh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, it's a yellow. I, I had flashbacks to the AC Milan game where Watson picked up a red card, to be honest with you. Griezmann, oh, beautiful pass. Laporte, yes, Laporte. What a tackle. That's going to be so important in this game. Laporte again, two impressive tackles. 1-0 going into halftime. 
Last time we conceded from a similar position like this. I think it was the 4-3. And we're going to do it again. It's literally the same constellation, isn't it? It is Griezmann's cross on a free kick to Upamecano. 5-4 in aggregate. One goal advantage. It's a good pass. No, Bob, please. Oh, no, it's Griezmann. Oh. Whew. And Tabaini, please. It's Kobel again making another save. All right, we're now 77 minutes into this game. Bayer is getting his chance. Kuto comes in. Bino Gittins as well. And Riasson now. I need to solid up that defense. So Zabita comes in too in that midfield. Ah, oh, thank you. Kuto. Rant. Bayer. Oh my God, is Bayer going to be our savior? Bayer in the champions. No, <laughs> of course he isn't. Why did I even think that? Solid pass. Bayer again. Oh, this time. This time, Maximilian Bayer shoots us into the next round of the Champions League for sure. Who would have thought that this guy came into the team just failing over and over and over again. And now on the biggest stage, he steps up to score one that was needed. Our defense started being shaky and Bayer stepped up. I appreciate that. Well, good thing he did score that because we might just concede another one. What just happened there with that slide tackle? Kobe! Let's go. Ref, blow the freaking whistle. Come shake my hand now, Simeone. Your team lost and I have won. Maximilian Bayer shooting Dortmund into the next round just to make sure. And Seto Girassi at the top of the top scoring list in the Champions League. Now I'm sat here wondering who is our opponent in the next round of the Champions League. Leverkusen, Hoffenheim, and Gladbach on 50 points. I mean, it dropped down to the fifth position. What is going on here? Champions League. It is Newcastle United. And we have to say something about one of the objectives of this season, which was Adam Wharton to become a top talent. One that is obviously a talent, but getting to that world-class level. And now with these types of performances in Champions League football, I truly believe if he continues like this, we will achieve that objective. And get us see. You're still chasing them, don't you worry. Back to Newcastle, though. I was looking into their best performers right now. Anthony Gordon is up there with four goals. Then it's Harvey Barnes and then Alexander Isak. In terms of assists, it is Isak alongside Ben Chilwell. So this Newcastle squad that we're up against, we know them and we played against them in the group stages. I still got to be worried about them, though. Because as you guys can see here, we have lost against Newcastle 3-1 once. They have the capability of kicking us out of the Champions League. However, in the Bundesliga, we're going to be up against Eintracht Frankfurt. And then after that, in the bottom right, as you can see, it is Bayern Munich coming up. So let's prepare yourselves for a massive matchup against Bayern Munich, where they will try and give it their all. Because in the Bundesliga, Bayern is now separated from the top group, 48 points. They have to win this game if they want to stand any chance of being up there. And if they do manage to beat us, teams like Leverkusen, Hoffenheim and Gladbach could pounce on that and try to get closer to us. The tactical changes have proven to be the right choice. Ben Sebaini now established himself in the starting 11. Players like Bayer stepping up and saving us in the Champions League. I mean, come on. This is going extremely well. I am loving it and I cannot wait to keep going.